A couple of months ago, I bought the Tri-Charge designed by Peter Lindgren. As I said in my previous review, I actually enjoyed the product so much that I actually bought myself a second one, so I now have two of these. However, there's one thing in my last review that I actually forgot to do, and that is actually a test on how fast it charges. So how I conducted the test was I drained all six batteries. These are all genuine, official Sony batteries. I drained all of them to the point where it was battery exhausted on the camera. And then I plugged two of them into the KNF charger, charged by USB-C into a 45 watt charging brick. The official Sony Sony charger, as you can see, is just directly plugged into the mains. And Peter Lindgren's tri charge is actually connected to a 100 watt USB C charger. I had a feeling the Sony one would finish first because it's only charging one battery and it's going directly into the mains. But I was curious as to see which one would finish first, the KNF or the tri charge. It's not a lightful like or a fair challenge, to be fair, because the KNF is charged at a 45 watt charger as the tri charger are going to a 100 watt charger. But unfortunately, I don't have 200 watts, nor do I have 245 watt charger, so I had to make do with what I've got. Because of the nature of the test, and it actually took very time consuming to do, I'm not going to redo this test. I'm just going to take it as it is. But the most important benchmark is to go against the Sony charger. As you could probably imagine, using a slower USB C charging brick would actually slow down the charging process. I actually have no idea that if I also plug in the 100 watt charger into the KNF charger, would that have improved the speed? But as I just mentioned, I'm not going to go through and do this whole test again. So there's not much more to discuss really, and let's just get to the results. So predictably, the Sony charger actually completed in one hour, 42 minutes and 44 seconds. If you've got to bear in mind, it's only charging one battery. So naturally it's always going to win. The tri charger actually managed to do all three batteries in three and a half hours, three hours, 28 minutes and 58 seconds to be more precise. The KNF charger was actually the disappointingly slow one because it's only charging two batteries, but it took four hours and 44 minutes and 11 seconds. And also when you consider the fact that it's charging three batteries, so you'd expect at least double the time than the Sony chargers, but it managed to get all three in less than double the time. So that's actually a very impressive charging speed. And that is why the KNF charge is actually massively disappointing because it took more than double the amount of time for two of the batteries. There's a couple of things to consider here and that the Sony charger is actually calibrated and designed to charge the Sony batteries by the manufacturer. So there must be a particular reason why as to the particular amount of voltage that is pumping through, et cetera, et cetera, for battery health, longevity, and so forth. So there is a mild concern that if the charger in the tri charge is charging too fast, it might be burning out the batteries a lot quicker than say it should do. And the other thing to consider as well, this is not a completely fair test because each battery that I have is a slightly different age to one another. As you can see, as the two batteries that I put into the KNF charger, I've got white stickers on them. These are actually, for my reference, to indicate that these are slightly older batteries. But what I will say to that is every one of these six batteries has one of those stickers because these are my oldest batteries. The only trouble is I don't know how old which one is. Some may be five years old, some may be four years old, some may be three years old. I don't know exactly how it's going to work in the sense that if the battery is older, does it charge faster because it can't retain as much charge? Or does it charge slower because it's just more worn out? I don't actually know the answer to that question. But what I will say though, is that these charging times anecdotally are actually still quite handy to know. If I'm in a pinch and I just want one battery charged up as fast as I can, I'll probably opt for the Sony just because I know it's going to go charging directly into that one. And if I need multiple batteries charged, I'm going for the tri charge. The KNF charger I'll use if I'm not in a hurry and if it's just a casual charge. Maybe one day or someone else who's got the tri charger would actually run the test of charging a single battery in this unit to see if that speeds up the charging process. If all the energy is targeted to one battery. For now at least, it's not going to be me. I can't be bothered to do the test. If you're interested in this charger, let me know what you think of these charging results and if you managed to catch the last review that I made of it. Otherwise, it's just a very quick video just to discuss this. Hope it helps and I'll catch you in the next one.